Today, we're not going to talk about this kind of relation. We're talking about this kind, which is not much different than the relationship between you and your favorite pet or your favorite brother or sister or your best friend. Here, we're going to find relationships between numbers. And that's the topic today, relations. Not relationships, but relations. And that's the root word of relationships. A relation is a fancy way of saying, let's find some patterns between numbers and then use those patterns to make an equation or a table of values such as this. Here the question states to make a table of values of this equation, 2x minus 3 equals y. The first thing I recommend you do is you fill up the side over here because there's no numbers. If there were numbers, it wouldn't be too bad, but there's no numbers. So let's not panic. Let's just put some numbers in and it doesn't even matter what you put in. I'm going to start simple. Though. I'm going to put a 0. I'm going to put a 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are simple numbers to use. Now x here is 0. X here is 1. X here is 2. See, X always changes. What we want to do is substitute these one at a time into this equation here. So instead of writing 2 times X, remember these are being multiplied, I'm going to write 2 times 0 because that's what X is here. I'll put it in brackets. And then what comes after? Minus 3. And whatever I get is going to be Y. So 2 times 0 is 0, minus 3 is negative 3. I'll put negative 3 here. Now we're going to put 1. X is 1. So instead of 2 times 0, I'm going to put 2 times 1 minus 3 equals... Now what, what's 2 times 1? 2. Minus 3, negative 1. So we'll put negative 1 here. Now we're going to put 2 in. X is going to be 2. So that X here, I'm going to substitute it. It's going to be 2 times 2. Minus 3 is going to be positive 1. Put a positive 1 in there. And now x is going to be 3. This ain't too hard. And then you're going to get 2 times 3, 6 minus 3 is positive 3. And for the last one, we're going to put 2 times what? 2 times? 2 times 4. Minus 3 is going to be 5. Positive 5. That's how you do a question that asks you to create a table of values. Ah!